Ryan Turk, some separation there, but I don't think Ryan Turk, that gum out, Toyota Racing, Toyota, Corolla hatchback, high on the bank, Robbins, there's that pressure, as Turk, nice wide line, really hung on that wall, oh, and there's Robbins making contact. From the work grind to his time off. Pro drift racer Ryan Turk does life at a dizzying speed. There's a lot of like, what's the rush? Slow down, but <laughs> A to B. <laughs> yeah. A to B, that's it. You can't drive slow. That's Ryan's wife, Shannon, aka Shanny Pants. We will get to that nickname a little bit later. The newlyweds have known each other since grade school, so it was only natural that when they decided to put down roots, it would be right here in the Granite State. We moved here, I think, in August. Uh, feels like forever ago. We are close to the speedway. and That's the, the main point. <laughs> the, the drag strip and the, the... motocross track, the drag strip, the speedway. 13 acres in Epping, enough for Ryan and Shannon to create their own motorsports drifting destination. This is our property out back here. So this was used as more of an equestrian property in the past, uh, but now it's gonna be hopefully the new motorsports compound for some fun, fun some, and games. Some top secret fun. Ryan has had a need for speed from a young age. My dad and mom got me and my brothers a dirt bike when we were about nine years old or 10 years old. And, and then uh, from there, it pretty much escalated. My brother and I finished as professionals. We kind of just got our feet wet in the professional ranks and then cars kind of came into our life and we're like, let's do cars. We were just fine, you know, uh, safe, but illegal empty parking lots to go screw around and practice car control. Now, at that point in time, we had no idea what drifting was. That's a good point. What exactly is drifting? So drifting is essentially sliding your cars sideways at a rate of speed, and you're controlling the vehicle, that, which is essentially out of control. But uh, you're essentially just doing a burnout at high rates of speed, sideways, crossed up. Everybody in New England has driven in snow with a rear-wheel drive car, has probably slid their car sideways, and their steering wheel starts to want to correct. That is pretty much what drifting is, but on asphalt, and you're going a lot faster. Ryan found himself in the right place at the right time when drift racing, a sport with Japanese roots, made its way to the United States and became a professional series. I've been driving in this professional series since 2005, so it's been quite some time. Last year was one of my better years. I finished third in a championship uh, on a brand new team and a brand new car for me, which is the uh, kind of one of the premier teams in drifting, the Papadakis Racing Team that is uh, factory backed by Toyota Racing. And I'm driving a rear wheel drive converted Corolla hatchback making over a thousand horsepower. So it's uh, pretty intense to drive um, and a lot of fun, that's for sure. I guess being able to control a car that is completely out of control is, is a lot of fun and just being full throttle because a lot of the course you're just flat out and just smoking, smoking the tires off the car and everything is high horsepower now and, uh, and extremely fast. Like the cars are really capable of a lot more than even what, a lot, what we see at some of the racetracks we go to. When he's racing, he's not the only one on the track. It's a judged sport, a little like synchronized swimming, but a lot faster and with a lot of smoke. The objective when you are in tandem drifting is in the chase position to stay as close to the other driver as possible, mimicking every move that he makes and essentially it is a sport of the least amount of mistakes made because it is extremely difficult to drive right on somebody's door with every two laps you're changing tires. Off the track, Ryan is a social media maven with quite a following on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. 
So yes, yeah, since, since drifting is a niche motorsport, you know, we're not an IndyCar or a Formula One or, or NASCAR. So uh, you have to be extremely with it on social media. You have to be good at doing interviews. Hopefully I'm doing a good job right now. And uh, you have to promote yourself. I don't have social media, so I pop in and I pop out and no one, I'm very elusive. Her dad nicknamed her Shanny Pants when that she that was her wrestling name growing up in the 80s in the in the family room. So uh, <laughs> so she, that that has stuck. As soon as I found out that her nickname was Shanny Pants, I've been using that ever since. So it's always a hashtag Shanny Pants when she's in uh, any social media yeah. posts. <laughs> I am Mrs. New Hampshire Drift House now. Just wanted to let everyone know it's filmed by me, Mrs. Turk. Ryan is about to start another season behind the wheel, but no matter where the circuit takes him, Epping is where he parks himself at the end of the season. My plans for, for moving back to New Hampshire are obviously to grow roots and start a family, but beyond that is to uh, grow the motorsport community and, and be somebody that can, uh, can help do that here and uh, grow drifting in the state of New Hampshire and in New England in general. So looking forward to doing that and having this be my home base for all my car builds and, and everything that I have to do with race cars and, and dirt bikes and motorsports in general. As for Shanny Pants, she says she doesn't mind the soundtrack of constant engine revving. For her, it means that Ryan is home. We see a lot of like big tracks or a big um, like compounds, but I, you don't see someone's actual house on the same property as all these crazy projects and ideas. And I think it's really exciting to think about having everyone coming here and coming through our place and staying with us and being part of our family and enjoying what we get to enjoy every day. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited for it. Oh,